for today's topic, I will discuss about my experience on paradigms and principles. This part is all about the main contents that you will be able to witness in the latter part of my video. So the main question would be, how did living by my paradigms and principles and managing time affected my studies or work for the last five weeks? With the guidance of my teacher in base skills 1 and 2, I was able to determine my strengths and weaknesses. I was able to get this information through taking the via character strength recommended by my teachers. This is a great factor in knowing ourselves more since paradigms tells us about ourselves. To be more specific, our behaviors and values. By knowing our strengths and weaknesses, we can control the consequences of the actions that we may do in the future. These consequences will then be determined by our principles. In my opinion, the meaning of this quote that I've attached means we can move through our lives if our paradigms and habits were aligned with our principles. It is because paradigms can be controlled, meaning we can shift our paradigms by changing our habits, which I actually did for the past Paradigms can really be a limiting factor in achieving happiness and success in life. It is because we tend to believe things just the way they are, where we can actually change those paradigms and make it better. How? By changing our habits. In simple words, we will contradict the things that we usually do. Let me share to you how I slowly change my response to anger. To inform you, I am the second eldest in our family and before, I usually get easily annoyed because of my playful younger sibling. The me before would immediately raise her voice when she feels offended by her brother's playful actions. But when I started this journey of controlling my anger, the me today can now be able to hold back for a few times and it actually felt good. Being able to release tension made me feel less stressed about conflicts arousing in my daily life. Aside from paradigms and principles, there are other factors that positively affected my life. This was based from the seven habits of highly effective people, where it helps people like us in adjusting our paradigms and how we see the world in order to not regret actions and also to improve our character. It takes a lot of time to actually make this statement because this is what will make you keep moving forward. When my teacher told us about making this, I started questioning myself whether I really know my purpose. And then I realized I have been living for about two decades without actually knowing my purpose in life. Aside from my family, I do not actually know why I wake up in the morning. And because of this sudden realization, I get a hard time creating this thing. When it comes to managing time, it's best for us to do the things that are important but not urgent. Based on the time management matrix, I am sure that most of us have experienced being in all types of quadrant. But as a student, I still try to do things ahead of time, slowly and surely, so I can get the results that I want. In addition, let us not forget that after a hard day, we can take some time to pat ourselves in our back and say that we did a good job for today because self-love is the best kind of love that we could receive. That's all for today's video and I hope you learned a lot from me. Paalam!